It's the third and final week of Ulta's semi-annual sales spring 2024, what used to be 21 days of beauty. I hope you enjoyed it so far. So these are my picks for week number three. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women. Want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Well, I'm 64 years old. I've been on YouTube for a while. I'm all about anti-aging. I still use that term, skincare, makeup, health, diet, whatever we can do to look better and feel better. All right. So what I do to feel better ends up helping me to look better, but so does skincare and so does makeup. So this sale starts on Friday, March 22nd and goes through Thursday, March 28th. Now, they have lots of hair care products this year that they've never had in the 21 days sales before. I'm not reviewing hair care. So if you're interested in all kinds of hair products, definitely go check what's on sale every day. Now they have each day in two categories. One is for sale in store and online, and the other one is sale online only. So uh, the other thing that I'm looking at is for any products that I have never tried before, which is most of them on here, I'm looking at the reviews from people who are over 50, over 40 even, because our skin starts to change when we're in our 40s and in our 50s. And I want to know how products work on them, not on the younger people. I'm also looking at scents because I can't handle scent and products or a product has to be so lightly scented that it doesn't make me feel ill. Okay, so let's get right to it. Friday, March 22nd. Now, one of the things that's on sale that day for half off, of course, is something that's very expensive, but people love it. And it's the Strivectin Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum. Now, I use a much cheaper vitamin C serum, but if you wanted to try this, this is a great time to do it at half off. That's in store and online. The rest of the things that I'm recommending that day are online only. The first is a product I have. I'm always going to mispronounce this. The Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Here in Glow Foundation. Now I have the color 125W. I bought this, not at all. I bought this at uh, Nordstrom a while back. Now the thing is, it is a little bit scented. So because of that, it's not one of my favorite foundations, but it is a beautiful foundation. So you might, might want to go into the store that sells this ahead of time and choose your color just in case you're going to buy it online. But remember, with Ulta, they have a wonderful return policy. Even if you open a product and try it, you can return it. So... Um, but, you know, with foundation colors, I like to get as close as possible. So I'll go choose a color ahead of time, ahead of the day of the sale. All right. Now, the other thing they have, which is interesting on this particular day, are several eyeshadow palettes from Lorac. They have the Pro Palette Noir. They have the Pro Palette Fairy Tale Forest. The Pro Palette Soleil. The Pro Palette Artist Edition Meraki, that's the largest of all of them, and the Unzipped Amore Shimmer and Matte. So if you're into those, you might even want to take a look at those in a store just to see them in person, maybe to even touch them to see what the shimmers are like. Are they glitter or are they shimmer? And then the mattes. But you really can't go wrong with a Lorac palette. It's just, you know, what colors are the colors that you really like. So yeah, all of those are listed and linked in the description box below, which I should mention that right now. In the description box, I'll have everything listed and linked and in the first comment. So if you're watching on a phone or tablet, to open the description box, go below the video and you'll see the word more. Tap that word more once. It opens the description box a little bit, then tap it one more time. The second time and it opens the description box completely and then scroll down to the section called product shown or mentioned. For the first comment on a phone or tablet, go below the video and you'll see the word comments. Tap that. That opens the first comment a bit. 
Then you have to tap the words read more, and that opens my first comment completely. All the things I'm talking about there are listed there and linked for you. All right, now we're on to Saturday, March 23rd. One of my favorite products is on sale for half off, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. Now, I use the one called Ultra Creamy, but I use it as a highlighter. I, I don't use it to conceal anything. So I use a peachy color corrector under my foundation first, and then I do foundation, and then I use this. And I dot it on, but I put it on with the damp beauty blender. I've shown this under eye on several videos of mine, and then I show how I set it so that it doesn't settle into fine lines. Again, 64 years old. So, you know, I've got fine lines and I don't want my makeup settling. I remember um, maybe a year ago or so, I was with a friend at a convention and around seven o'clock at night, she looked at me and we were in kind of bright lights in a big convention center. And she said, did you reapply your makeup? And I said, no. And she goes, it looks fantastic. And she's like 10 years younger than I am. So it's how I apply it and it's how I set it. But this is one of the things I use. Now, besides the creamy concealer, they also have their Tarte Shape Tape Full Coverage Concealer and the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Medium Coverage Concealer. This one that I use, it's kind of a light color. It's light 20B. And it's a little lighter than my skin tone because I want a little bit of a brightener without having white around my eyes. Um, so when I'm looking at other concealers and I'm in the store, I'll pull this one out of their testers and I'll test other ones next to it if I want to try to find something that's similar. The nice thing is they have a lot of shades that don't pull orange. So many companies out there, their concealers pull orange and I don't want orange. <laughs> Not on top of my face. Anyway. I like the orange as a corrector under foundation, but not afterward. So this is going to be a great deal. And you can buy two. You can buy two of the product of each product that's on sale. Okay. They won't let you do more than two. Now on to Sunday, March 24th. I have not tried these before, but they have the Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour. This is the one that I want to try. They have a bunch of colors and I took a screenshot of all the colors so that you can see them. I might go in ahead of time to the store to test a few and see which one I might want. Now, they also have the blush in that line on sale that day, but people have reported that that blush fades throughout the day. Now, I'm I'm more of a person who likes powder blush and they last all that. Look at this. I mean, I. You can still see my blush today and it's five o'clock PM and I've had this on since maybe seven o'clock in the morning. So it's been on tent, but this is powder. I like the powder on me and I can put it on really fast and not be concerned about it streaking or anything. And then they also have in that Tarte Sculpt Tape line, they also have the highlighter. I'm skipping the highlighter and you can look at it if you want, but I think I'm just going to go for the contour. Now, also on Sunday, March 24th, but online only, if you have redness, they have on sale for half off that day, their Arborean CC Red Correct. And yes, it's a CC cream, and some people apply it on their entire face, like a foundation, but it says in the description, you can just use a little bit, and if you just have redness a little bit on your cheeks or on your nose, you can just put it there first and then use whatever foundation you use on top of that. And I watched a few people in videos applying it and it looked pretty good. They don't have many colors, but that's, you know, again, it's a corrector. And somebody else wrote in the reviews that she has um, rosacea pretty bad and this corrected her rosacea and she's in love with the product. So that's fantastic. The other thing on sale that day online only is the Tula, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. This has been in their half off sales a lot. It also looks like three sizes will be half price, but check it on that day. That's just what the text said in the little box for the sale. 
No, I think it's an expensive product just for a cleanser. And I've only bought it at half off. I won't pay full price for this. But, you know, it's a decent cleanser. Now, the other thing that's on sale that day, and it comes in many colors, is the MAC Color Excess Gel Pencil Eyeliner. Comes, it doesn't come in standard colors other than brown, but all the other colors are really different. So if you've been wanting to try a nice quality gel eyeliner that's in a color, take a look at these with MAC. All right, on to Monday, March 25th. Now, if you have a medium or a dark skin tone, there's a lot of products with Juvia's Place on sale this day. Now, they have, um, I was looking at some of the lipsticks. The one that stood out to me was the one called the Nude Velvety Matte that comes in several shades. And I took a screenshot of one of those shades. Even if you, you're more fair skin like I am, you might be able to get away with some of these. Now, I can't do bright or dark colors anymore. I just can't. But um, one of these might work for me. And then there's also the Juvia's Place Lux Lip Liners on sale that day as well. Again, brighter and deeper colors are offered. And, um, and then there are a few other things. I didn't see Juvia's Place eyeshadows for that day. And the Juvia's Place lip glosses didn't have enough good reviews. It was like some good and some really bad. If I'm going to do a lip gloss, I'm going to go with something I know and that I know I really like, like the Pixie Lip Icings, which I'm wearing today on top of a lipstick. Um, the lip icings, there's no weird smell. It's not sticky. It's not weird. My hair doesn't fly and stick to it. It just gives me a little bit of glam on top. And um, anyway... But go take, if you're darker toned skin, go take a look at all the other things from Juvia's Place that day. Now, Monday, March 25th, online only. Huh. Okay, I wrote some notes and I just have to read them. So there's a vitamin C serum by Claire's, K-L-A-I-R-S listed. But the vitamin C content is only 5%. Someone wrote a review saying it smells like nail polish and the texture was greasy and heavy. And there's no reason for that. The Timeless brand of vitamin C serum, which is not sold at Ulta, is the one that I use the most if I don't make my own. And the Timeless brand comes in two strengths with 20% being my favorite. It's very light, lightweight. It absorbs into the skin nicely and it doesn't smell. It shouldn't smell. So there's no reason to try something that smells odd. So I say skip that one. Tuesday, March 26th, the Urban Decay Naked Your Way Mini Eyeshadow Palettes are on sale. There are three different colors. I'm showing one here. I did look at these in the store a couple weeks ago. I thought they were a little bit too warm tone, like too much warm tone for me. I like more cool tones or a mixture of warm tone and cool tones. So this is one you want to go look at in the store, look at the testers, swash them on your finger, and see if you can find one that you like. There's a combination of shimmers and mattes in those palettes. And of course, the size of them, being the minis, is great for traveling. Then also on Tuesday, March 26th, online only, is a KVD Beauty Tattoo Pencil Gel Eyeliner. It comes in 13 colors. I think I'm definitely going to try one of these because I've only tried her liquid eyeliner. I I, I should say tattoo. <laughs> it's a tattoo. But it comes in so many colors, 13, and I think that this is one that just stays on really nicely. And if you're into eyeliners, give it a try for half off. Now we're on to Wednesday, March 27th. If you only buy one thing this week, here it is, right here. One of my favorite foundations. This is the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I use the color 230N. Oh my gosh, this is my second bottle. I'm going to be buying a third bottle because it's half off. You know, I, the other only other thing I once got excited about when they had this sale 
either last fall or last a year ago last spring was when they did the Estee Lauder double wear. But this is my other favorite. It comes in a pump. I do one pump on my entire face and I've shown how I do this in several videos. Then I apply it while I smear it around my face. Then I apply it with a damp beauty blender. I think it's a necessity to use the beauty blender, the slightly damp beauty blender that you wet under the sink, under the water, you squeeze it out and you roll it in a towel so it's just barely damp, especially getting it into all of your pores. And you won't have that weird polka dot dot problem with this foundation getting in your pores when you apply it this way. I've never tried it, not applying it this way, but it's just a fantastic way to apply it and make it look like your skin. I'm wearing it today. And then after I use the Beauty Blender, I take an e.l.f. brush that costs like $4. I call it the stipple brush because it has a flat edge and then I buff it out. I'm gonna put those two products listed, the Beauty Blender and the e.l.f. brush in the description box and first comment below as well, right below this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. Now the beauty blender is kind of expensive and I was I was disappointed that they didn't put that in the in the 21 days in the sale this year because usually they do and I buy two because you know they only last so long. But if you found another brand that is so much cheaper than the beauty blender but it works just as well, please give me a comment below. I'd like to know what brands of beauty blender sponges you found work just as well as a beauty blender. So yeah, this one is a walk, do not run. No, this is a run, do not walk to Ulta. Pick your color ahead of time, all right, so that you know which one you want. Then the other thing they have that day is the Anastasia Magic Touch and Concealer. I've never tried it before, but you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the store ahead of time. I'm going to pull the tester for 20B of the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm going to see if I can find a color in the Anastasia that's similar for half. Now, the other thing they have on Wednesday the 27th is four different Clinique mascaras, and I wanted to recommend at least one of them, but there were so many mixed reviews on all four of them. Ay, ay, ay. If Now, if one of these that they've listed is your favorite go-to mascara, then by all means, buy two of them if they're your favorite. But so many people said it gets in my eye. I have a hard time removing it, even with mascara remover. Um, little flakes get my, yeah. So, you know, my favorite is the Benefit Roller Lash. So I compare everything, every mascara to that. And then also on Wednesday, March 27th, online only, I, I'm wondering about this. This is the Volition Getaway Glow Gradual Tan Firming Serum. It's for the face. I don't know that it's firming. But anyway, it's a self-tanner for the face. Now, my favorite has been the Clarins self-tanning drops that I would add every three days or so to my morning moisturizer, which is my sunscreen. And you put that on and... A couple hours later, there's this beautiful tan glow. And I use that all summer long. But this one might be worth a try because it's half off and there were a lot of really good reviews on this. All right, now we're on to the last day, Thursday, March 28th. I'm recommending nothing on that day. So make sure you check online with Ulta anyway to see what's coming up with hair care, just in case there are hair products that you want to check. And then check out one of my other videos by tapping its image on the right side of your screen. And I'll see you in the next video.